Good day there. Hello there. I combined my two phrases. Anyway, guys, what up? What up? Happy Thursday. Or Friday for you, since you're viewing this on Friday. Or who knows, perhaps you're viewing this on some random Tuesday in the year 2021. If YouTube is still around then. Maui, you alright? Squeaky. I think Maui's congested. Maui, come here. Psst, psst, psst. Come on. Come on. Alright, you just stay right there. Anyway, today is going to be a good day because I have a lot of things to tell you. Um, I want to explain my latest change in my office. Right over there, you probably saw it in the intro. And I want to go through some lenses because I had a comment from someone. Um, actually, hold on. Let me do that right now. Got my MacBook Pro right here. I took a screenshot the other day, so I wouldn't forget. I was gonna do it yesterday, but I got caught up in yard work and editing and all that stuff. I do a lot of things nowadays. Really, Maui? That's a bit dramatic. Maui, if you wanna get out, you can just ask me. You don't have to try to tear the door open. There you go. Have fun, enjoy your day. I keep this closed, that way the uh, warm air stays out. Your startup disk is almost full. What the hell is that from? Probably a weekend vlog or something. I gotta clean this thing up. Anyway, I could have sworn I had a screenshot from that person. Damn it. I must have lost it. Okay, so I found a screenshot. Apparently I put it in my trash by accident. But OS X has that put back feature, which is nice. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this right now because the screenshot's right here. The text one says, I had the 60D upgraded and now have the 70D. I have multiple lenses. I have the Canon 1018 IS STM lens. That's the lens I want for my 80D. What lenses do you have and which are your favorite? And then I said, I will address this in Thursday's vlog. I guess it's gonna be Friday's vlog. All right, so going into this, I just wanna make something clear. I am by no means a photography expert. I've learned a lot over the years, but I'm far, far from an expert. I'm kind of in between beginner and intermediate. I mean, I know my stuff, but I don't demonstrate that too often because video has quite literally taken over my life. But actually with that said, if you know video, then you probably know photography because while well, most of the terminology is the same, you deal with aperture, you deal with the white balance, you deal with focal length, focus points, or focal points if you wanna call it that, autofocus, manual focus, all that stuff. So if you're good at making videos, there's no reason why you can't be good at photography. So anyway, these are the lenses I have. This is my pancake lens, they call it. A Canon 40 millimeter. Boom. Alexa, please stop. She's been playing music all morning. Alexa, stop the music. My next lens is the Nifty 50, a lot of people call it. This is one of the most popular lenses that you can get at least in terms of like kind of budget lenses because I got it for pretty cheap. Or did I get it for Christmas? I'm pretty sure I bought it myself. Anyway, this is the Canon EF 50 millimeter lens. This lens is pretty nice. I don't use it anymore because I don't really use my T4i anymore for um, you know pictures. I mostly use it for video. It happens to be right there, which by the way, that currently has the 18 to 55 millimeter stock lens, you know, the kit lens, which is okay for beginners. I mean, it's fine. it's fine for videos, it's fine for sitting down right here and talking about tech. But other than that, it's not really that great of a lens. And this is my worst lens. The size is impressive, but as you probably know, size does not always matter. Uh, this is the Canon zoom lens EF 75 to 300 millimeter. So this definitely has a nice focal length on it, but it does not have IS. In other words, it does not have image stabilization, which is a deal breaker. Now, the only reason I got this lens is because it was $100 on Woot.com years ago. I mean, $100 zoom lens, I'd be kind of an idiot to pass that up, right? So I ordered it, boom, it literally took like weeks to get here. But you know what? It was a great deal. Have I used it much? No. However, allow me to make something clear. If I do get the Canon 80D, you have my word, I will use it all the time for both photography and video, but only for one main reason, because it will not be tethered to a tripod. And shout out to Lynn Jones. I addressed this in the other vlog, but I guess you misunderstood me. Yes, I could always take my camera off my tripod, 
But for me, that's inconvenient. I love the idea of my T4i always sitting there. And I love the idea of a Canon ADD always being by my side. I can pick it up, boom, go out and shoot. That's what it comes down to, especially when you have multiple cameras. Okay, so if the ADD was my only camera, then yes, that would make sense. But I have a Canon T4i, uh, Sony FDR-AX 53, a GoPro Hero 4, um, Canon G7X, and of course I have my iPhone, which I use occasionally for video. So it's really nice having the choice between cameras. But anyway, I don't want to make today's video all about cameras, although that's not necessarily a bad thing. But I will be honest, I don't have too much going on today, so I want to do something pretty cool for you guys. Also, I have this. We might as well get it out of the way. First of all, I put Mario over there. But why is he holding a classic iMac G3 keyboard? Well, one, I need to put it back in the basement. And two, I was using it last night to set up this, my Quantum Byte PC, which is hidden right there in the back. Look at that, that is so cool. Now, unfortunately, I do have cables running up here. That will be handled later, because believe me, it bothers me. But those cables are there for a reason, because I finally went through with my plan of hooking up a monitor at the top of my cubes. Look how awesome that looks. Now, first of all, shout out to Casey Neistat. Not only are you my favorite vlogger, you're never gonna see this, but you inspired me to do this because my original plan with this monitor was to set up an outside camera, which I happen to have right back there. I just need to set it up still. Um, so that way I would constantly have a live feed of outside my front door for the mailman, visitors, UPS, FedEx, whatever. I like knowing what's going on outside. And plus, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of paranoid because I'm always hearing noises, so I'm constantly looking outside. I'm like, who's that? What's that? Who's that? What's that? So having a live feed outside will be very nice, eventually. So instead, I decided to move forward and hook up this monitor anyway, because, check it out, unlocking my iPhone, I can show you something very cool. This is remote mouse, which is connected to my Windows PC. Okay, so this means I basically never need to touch a mouse or keyboard because it also has a built-in keyboard right there. All right, so let's click and it should wake up. Yep, there it goes. Gotta put my password in. Of course, I'll do this off camera. And here we go, it's now logging in. I am still using Windows 8, but I installed a bunch of updates overnight, so that's probably why it's a little slow right now. And there's my start screen, as you can see. Very detailed. Now, I'm all about that simplicity. Hey, anyway, look, the mouse is fully working and it's responsive. This is not on Bluetooth, by the way, because I don't believe the Quantum Byte has Bluetooth built in, which is fine. This is all over Wi Fi, which is awesome. I can open up Google Chrome. And now, this is the real reason of why I set up this monitor. Again, the security camera thing will happen eventually, but this will hold me over for quite a while. And this is easily the most egotistical thing that I've done in a while. No regrets, though. No regrets. All right, you ready for it? And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it already, but just pretend you have it. Boom, that right there is a real time count of my YouTube subscribers count. I'm currently at 133,408 subscribers. That's incredible. Thank you so much for your support. Seriously, I mean that. Now, that's not a huge number in like the big picture of things because I'm not a big YouTuber, but I will say this, you guys are big on support. You guys have been giving me so many comments of incredible support. Since Monday alone, I mean, the weekend vlog, I was honestly worried about a lot of people saying, no, the weekend vlogs are going away. I mean, yeah, I've upset a few people here and there, but most of you are okay with this change. And some of you are even saying, David, I find myself watching your daily vlogs and wanting more. And that, my friends, is a good thing. My master plan is working. Okay, so why do I have the subscribers count? Well, one, I'm full of myself, uh, but two, the real reason is to keep myself motivated. This number will be up all day, every day. I can sleep the PC at night by simply pressing the sleep button on here, which is really nice. But yeah, I mean, this number will keep me motivated. With every vlog I upload, I'm gonna keep a close eye on this. Like maybe I make a video about technology one day and then I'll vlog the next. I can see what works better. And yes, I realize we have YouTube analytics, but there's no fun in that. 
What's better than a nice large monitor up here just sitting there all day long? And plus, honestly, I have like three or four spare monitors sitting around the house, including in the basement. This one came from the basement, so it was, it was there for years. So let's just say I'm happy to finally put this to use. Yeah, I think most of today's vlog is gonna take place in here. I just love this stuff. All right, let's get some real work done. Get in that frame, David. Boom. yesterday. If you're ever asking yourself if you should have more coffee, the answer is always yes. Just do it. Seriously, just do it. Anyway, this showed up today. I have no idea what this is. I did not order anything from Amazon. No idea. Maybe it's a gift. Or maybe it's a product review? I think I have a couple products on their way, but they rarely directly come from Amazon. So, by the way, you see what I just did there? I cut towards myself. Don't do that. I'm a bad example. Oh my lord! Who said this? Donkey Kong display. Dude! That's amazing! Perfect timing, too, because I'm in the process of moving around my Amiibo. Well, I moved them last night, but... I can always move them again. This is really cool. I mean, who doesn't like the classic Donkey Kong? That is so awesome. There is a note inside from Diane. Maybe Diane Ferguson? I don't want to assume, but Diane, thank you so much. She says, hi, David. I haven't sent you anything in a while, so enjoy this and keep living your dream. That has to be Diane Ferguson because she's been very generous in the past. Keep living your dream. Look at those words, guys. Those are powerful, powerful words. Diane, thank you so much. Maui, don't even think about jumping up there. You're gonna knock the camera over. Yeah. Look at the camera. <laughs> You're such a funny cat. Look how chill he is. He just doesn't care. Oh, my baby. Diane, thank you so much. That was very nice of you. Yeah. Yeah, Maui. Get that camera. You're a good boy. I'm so glad you're in my life. Maui has no idea what I'm saying. And now there's fur all over me. Well, that was fun. I just recorded my first Munch Pack video in quite a while. As you can see, that's the aftermath. And Maui's picking at the uh, chocolate cake that I threw in here. Want that, Maui? I don't like wasting food, but I'm not gonna eat everything Munchback gives me. Still though, it's, it's fun to do first taste on camera. Obviously, I'll be keeping some of the chips. For instance, these kettle cooked jalapeno chips are actually really good. He will not quit. Really, Maui? So, there's that. I'm currently getting ready to have lunch. I'm gonna have chicken nuggets. Easy, why not? The count went up since the last time I showed you. That's always good. Oh, how I love chicken nuggets. 
watching some Casey Dorn lunch. I love his editing. God, I hope I can get on that level someday. <laughs> New York's a beautiful city. Okay, so today's vlog just went live and two of you just happened to comment in a row saying that my vlogs feel like The Sims. Either that's a crazy coincidence or my vlogs really do feel like The Sims. I mean, I'm perfectly okay with that because I used to be a huge fan of The Sims. I haven't played it in a very, very long time, but I loved The Sims 1 and 2. Sims 3 I played a little bit, Sims 4 I haven't even touched. There is a Sims 4, right? I'm pretty sure there is. But anyway, now, Sims 1 and Sims 2, I was all about that life. And Roller Coaster Tycoon. <sighs> Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 I loved. 3 was okay. Oddly enough, because you think riding the coasters would have been fun, and it was, but it just didn't hold my attention like 1 and 2 did. Am I alone in saying that? I think it's time to edit my unboxing of Munchback for July of 2016. Let's do this. Obviously some edits are quicker and longer than others, but that's the basic process. Also, for those who care, my batteries for my lawnmower did indeed charge just fine. As you can see, boom, full battery, and boom, full battery. So I will be finishing my grass actually right now while ScreenFlow exports. So I suppose that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am working on my dad tomorrow at another school, so I will be vlogging that, which should be pretty cool. I'll see you guys then.